Hello and welcome back to the Deja Vu podcast. Uh, this is episode four. If you haven't watched and uh, listened to the previous ones, then maybe give them a go uh, if you fancy it. But there was an episode last week, so we've got a bit of catching up to do. Um, obviously, Croatia have beaten Japan and Brazil since we last recorded. So, um, yeah, they've beaten Brazil and Panois. Um, Michael, Croatia... They've been very good so far. Yeah. I, I personally thought Brazil maybe was a bit too of a high of a hurdle to jump. What was your opinion on the game? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a really interesting game. I think, like, you know, I thought Brazil was having a the best of what we were saying in the opening episode about them maybe not having experience and not quite being able to create chances. And I thought, like, Brazil, you know, they've got like, quality up front. But Croatia played a really solid, like, defensive game plan. They were able to kind of shut down Brazil's creative, really creative methods. And, you know, able to get... I think once it went to penalties, I was like, Croatia was the favourite to have that experience. You know, they won two shootouts last time to make it to the final. And they've won two shootouts again now. And I think, like, like looking at it against Argentina, I was like, you know, you give them the chances in that match as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought Croatia played really well, especially I thought the midfield were, I think, mean, oh, the one of them. Uh, you know, Kovacic was brilliant under pressure. Uh, so many times I saw him, you know, being pressured by two or three people and just manages to get out of it and then make a nice pass. Modric was class as usual and Brozovic was working like no one else. Like, he was just up and down. Um, but yeah, obviously, Croatia had more, had more possession, so... You know, people thought it was going to be a Brazil domination, but I thought Croatia really held their own. Yeah, I think they've got it. I mean, they played a similar game against Japan as well, which, like, you know, it kind of works against any opponent almost. Like, you know, they kind of... Japan did get that goal, but, you know, in the second half, they really came out swinging. I think it shows they've got the kind of versatility to the match, because in that Japan game, they were down, and in the Brazil game, when they went down in, you know, extra time as well. Like that, they can turn on the like play and you know try and get balls into Petrovic or the other you know strikers that have like Kramaric and Kramaric. Yeah. So I think that, that they're going to be you know I mean, like you wouldn't say that Argentina are so much in favourite in that game now. I, don't, I wouldn't say that anyway. You know, I think like I thought Croatia were going to quarters. I think I said that in the first episode, but like I didn't think it would be that good, and I didn't think. Yeah. That like that was kind of a bit of a wild prediction. Not a wild far, but like, you know, it was a bit of like an outlandish prediction. You know, I didn't think I thought they would really get into the round sixteen, but I think they've done really well. Yeah, I think a lot of people definitely thought they peaked from twenty eighteen, you know, they had their chance and this is really it. And I think obviously they opened a game against Morocco, they were you know, it's a good game. We we didn't realise how good Morocco were, maybe before it was gonna be it was underwhelming from Croatia, they were favourites, but Look at Morocco now, like they've beaten Belgium, they've beaten Spain. I mean, they've had a really good run, so maybe that result wasn't even bad in the first place. You know, they got that big result against Canada, four goals that actually showed they could score without Mandzukic, which a lot of people doubted. Like Mandzukic was, you know, their main man, and um, people questions where they get the goals from. But they've they've done well to really get as far as they held their own defence. Vardio was. Unreal again, like man the match. I think he was brilliant. And uh, maybe another shout man the match was actually uh, Lionovic, the goalkeeper. Oh, 100, 100 percent. Yeah, so good. It's been a real, and I thought, like, in the shootout, I think in the Japan shootout, you know, you're like, it was good saves, but the penalties they weren't, they weren't very good. Um, but yeah. in this, these, you know, the saves made in the shootout, it was like, oh, he is a very good keeper. Yeah, no, he is very good. He, I think he made the most saves from a quoting goalkeeper in, in a World Cup in a game, yeah, so, yeah. which is mental. I mean, a lot of them maybe were like straight on, but he still had to be there. And yeah. one-on-one, he's brilliant. Penalties, you just you just favoured Croatia when they went there because they've, they've been there and done that. You know, that happened the last, last round. As, as you mentioned before, you know, they've got the, uh, you know, they've, they've, they've done it. They've got the... Um, the mentality and you know they're all very wise in the field and they can hold that game off so um yeah obviously the 
Neymar scores to make it 1 0 in extra time. I don't know about you, but I thought that was it. I thought it was over. I thought, oh, no way they're going to get back in this. Uh, Orsic comes on f- three or four minutes later. I don't know how long it was, but he gets the assist for Pekovic. His first goal in two years for international football. What a time to get it. I mean, great goal. Absolutely, yeah. I think as well, I'm kind of struggling from that game beforehand. Like, you know, apart from a few little bits of hold up play, he hasn't really got involved much. But I think, yeah. like, like, to get that goal, it's just, it, you know, it's turned, it turned the game on heads. And, like, when that goal went in, like, I thought it was like, well, I think that's a testament to, so, like, all the, all the older, more experienced players they have in that coaching team. Like, that they didn't let their heads drop, but they just kept trying and trying. And I think, like, some teams we've seen in this tournament, um, you know, they've kind of gone one goal down and it's kind of like, oh, we had a good run, but, like, with, you know, having a better side, that's it. And it's like, you know, we saw in both the games, well, like the Netherlands, they came back as well. And, you know, I think that's what's made it such a good tournament overall, and, like, especially for Croatia. And I think that. I think what holds them well is that they defend them really well. Yeah, like, no, you, do. you mentioned, mentioned Gabardio earlier. He did such a like, he was such a destructive player for them. And he um, yeah, had oh, Duranovic, Duranovic as well. The yeah, right line. Duranovic, yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And, and Lovren as well, you know, testament yeah. to him, like with his age, people thought maybe they were too old of a team. We didn't know how they were going to line up. Um, but Lovren, you know, he's partnered with Guardiola and they've been immense together and they've conceded about three goals in the tournament so far. So, you know, they've been really good. Juranovic, he took, he took, he took the game on. I think, I think people, a lot, a lot of people expected him, you know, he's on the same side as Neymar and, um, Vinicius Jr. And yeah. people thought he'd sit back and just let them come towards him and he'd defend, but he took the game to them. He, he, he really... I think he was a crucial player um, yesterday. But um, Croatia are into the semi final now. They are. Uh, that's actually the third semi final in six tournaments. So, quite an impressive stat there. And another, more impressive, actually, every time they made it out of the group stage, they've made it to at least the semi final. So, that's, that's pretty impressive. Obviously, Tough game, another tough game, but you, you yeah. expect that at this stage of the tournament that's always going to be as tough games. Argentina, who also went to penalties yesterday, Messi, uh, really, I mean, golden assist. That, oh, that, I think it's, you can't talk about Argentina without speaking about Messi. So, how do how do Croatia really go about this? I think I think it's a bit to kind of what they're doing. I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but I think that they're not going to go, you know, they're like the strike for strike with like this Argentina team. No, it's not. I think players wise, in some positions, they definitely kind of have the advantage. But I think overall, they're not, if they go at this Argentina team, like it's going to get to what they've done the whole tournament. They're not going to, they're not going to beat them if that's what happens, I think. Yeah. But I think that if they play kind of Brazil type game plan that we keep tight at the back, you know, like, you know, it's when we have chances, I think they're not, you know, they're not sitting back and like not keeping hold of the ball and stuff like that. I just think like being smart, you know, having that kind of, having that switch on mentality, like it's the way they play the whole tournament, you know, like in the game against the also, like the first game, for example, even in that game, they didn't try and go down the you know, I mean, like obviously we didn't know about Morocco, how just how good they were going to be, like you said earlier. Yeah. But even, even like the game with Japan, in every game that you played this place, I think it would be stupid to kind of break up the system now and like go, you know, they know what they have to do to make the final like they did before. And I just think, you know, to try and get it into the long round. And it's all like Argentina, you know, they got an early in the game later late, late on and you see the goal. And I think, like, you know, they don't want, I don't think they want to take some penalties. They definitely just want to get it done in 90 minutes. So, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm I think that would be a crucial one is getting it done in 90 minutes. Croatia have obviously done that. They have gone to extra time and penalties two games in a row now. So three games, especially as an aging team, that will probably hit them quite hard. Obviously, Argentina did the same thing yesterday. They've got quite an old team as well. See, Messi, 35 now, is he, I think. So, yeah. Um, 
I think I think it'd be a great game. I think the midfield will have a big part to play. I think the Argentine midfield is quite good as well. I think paul has been brilliant. And um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think I think it'll just be who's got who's better really, like attacking wise of because I think that both defence are solid. Yeah. I think it would just be who can create them chances because I think Croatia what you saw against Brazil they they dominated in possession in the first half I thought they were really good but it's just the final piece yeah and I think sometimes that's hard obviously that's very hard to do against a solid side so I think both teams will struggle to get through each other's defence if, you know I mean, if you know what I mean so I think it will just be who can finish their chance yeah, I think I would like to see if like the coach changed anything. I would like to see someone like Orsic start, maybe or someone like yeah. I think they're not Argentina's defenders are very good in the air, like they're very physical. I think that kind of have like a Bruno Kekovic or like even even Kramer, she's not exactly a target man, but you know he's a bit of a bigger kind of driver. I think that's not going to work against Argentina. I think maybe someone you know Orsic has got a bit of pace, like someone that can go out. Yeah, I think uh, Argentina will be missing a few players. They've got a few yellow cards yesterday. It's quite a feisty game. So, yeah. it's the same with Croatia, to be fair. I thought both games were very... There's a lot of fouls in both games. I think Croatia had about 22 fouls and Brazil 24. And then yesterday in the Argentina uh, Netherlands game, it was, you know, a lot of stoppages. I think the ref uh, like like the uh, line right there. So, I think he did, yeah. Yeah, he, I think he took a bit of the um, the spotlight, but I think it'll be a good game. I think Croatia, I think they have more of a chance. I I, I really didn't think they'd get past Brazil, but I'm more confident they get past Argentina than I did Brazil. So, um, you know, one more game and they're in the final. So I think I might have actually, I think I remember the first episode I might have maybe said, they get to the final. I might have to rewatch it. I remember saying something getting about getting quite far in the tournament. You no, know you you said the furthest. I remember that the band that said Ram and I said fourth. I'm pretty sure you said seventh. I'm, I said semi or, or or final, and well, I'm, I think I'm right so far. So if they get to the I final. Know, I, got, I, got to give up. I know I should have put a bet on that. It would have been probably good have been odds for it. But um, yeah, they've done well. Got past a few tough teams, but Japan, but obviously. Very good team, very fast player. I didn't expect it. I haven't watched a lot of um, football from them, but you know, they were really good, but really um, tough opponent to Brazil. But Brazil, they have the best, one of the best play, players in the world, the best team. Yeah. So it's it's really it's credit to Croatia for getting this far. And, you know, can they get one more? So I'm getting a little prediction now. Do they beat Argentina and get into the final? I'm... Uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna have to be a bit of a bit going. So I don't, I don't. I think Argentina. I think it's very close. I think it's like a, a late late event. Something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So you think Argentina get to the final? You see the, you know, the Messi, the Messi show just taking over. Yeah. I want. I want to be wrong. I do want to make it through to the final. Yeah. Um, but I think that Argentina have just—I don't know if like strikes right, right, like that. Yeah, I think I think it'll be a tough game. I think I think if there's any defence in the World Cup at the moment that maybe could stop Messi and Argentina, it could be Croatia with the performances being put in. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Croatia win. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my heart on it and say Croatia win. I think they win. I think it'll be very close, like we mentioned before. I think it'll be, you know, the odd goal. I think the thing will be very good. I'm going to go 1 0 to Croatia. Maybe an extra time, you know, 0 0, extra time, 1 one nil. Or maybe they do it on pens again. Um, that'll be a tough one, the penalties. I really couldn't call that. But yeah, I'm going to go Croatia, beat Argentina. So, and they make it to the final, which England will be in as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's not going to go well if we lose today, but um, but yeah, that's that's going to be it. Uh, probably get another one out um, after the Argentina game, whenever that is. I can't remember. But um, uh, I think it's the thirteenth of December. So, so. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll get another one out. December. Look out for our episode five. Yeah, 
definitely. We'll get. We'll, we'll, we won't miss a week this time. We'll get it straight out. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, it's been me and Michael. Uh, hopefully, we'll be joined by the others next time. But yeah, cheers.